Well, now on Thursday, here an urgent application by disgruntled Free State ANC members. They want the court to nullify the party's provincial elective conference underway in Paris and also to interdict all Free State delegates from going to the national conference this weekend. The group alleges the ANC has flouted a court order to resolve disputes at 113 branches. Well, despite that drama, the ANC uh, provincial conference is underway in Paris and our reporter in Taquana Ngat Tana is there. Uh, Taquana, tell us what's happening right now in Paris. Well, Francis, it has been two days of hurry up and wait here in Paris for both the delegates here at the conference as well as us, the media, because for the whole of today, um, a lot of us arrived around 9 o'clock and we expected proceedings to start then, but they didn't start until after lunch. And even when the proceedings began, we had expected that the nominations that were scheduled for 9 a.m. this morning would be the first thing. But um, up to now, the conference has said that it went through credentials to ensure that it's properly constituted. We've heard word that this conference is indeed properly constituted even though as far back as yesterday we were told that this conference is not in contempt of court. What Tabo Mieku said earlier on the spokesperson of the province is that part of the things that they have to do is to ensure that all the processes meet the requirements that will not once again lend them in court and uh, sort of tongue twisting himself because there is another court case that's coming this week and when he was asked about it he clearly said that he would not comment on it, but then said that um, this particular conference was delaying because of court proceedings, and then went back to say, no, 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 not these court proceedings that he does not want to talk about, but the court proceedings um, that have passed and the, and the court orders that have been issued by the court in the past. So at this point in time, we know that the ANC lawyer, Libohang Moroka, is here at this venue. Now, whether again it is to ensure that the conference goes according to provisions that will ensure that it does does not be, uh, it, it's not taken to court again, or whether it is to talk about this impending uh, case that will be coming on Thursday, again, we have to wait and see. But at this point in time, we are waiting for those nominations, and as far as we know, we understand that they are not going to be contested, except, of course, for that position of deputy chairperson, the deputy chairperson who is not here at this venue, and that is Tabo Manioni. Francis? Tabo Manioni uh, supporting for president of the ANC, Cyril Ramaphosa. Is it, it's simplistic, but is it fair enough to say that this conference uh, is, is about the leadership that supports Nkosa Zana Dlamini Zuma and, and the delegates uh, who are there may have that leaning and it's being boycotted by this other group that supports Cyril Ramaphosa? Oh, certainly, because you will remember that when we were here at this same venue for the Provincial General Council that decided or nominated Nkosa Zanadla Minuzuma as the candidate that the ANC Free State prefers for the next president of the ANC, it was 29 branches that, were, uh, that, that had a pending court case the following day that they would eventually win. And, that, and those 29 branches, according to the PEC here, 28 of them were run, but one was outstanding, and that was as of yesterday. But again, today, when you talk to Tabo Meku, he gives you a sort of different story in terms of the, those branch nominations or the branch procedures being the reason why they are delaying today, because they want to to again ensure that they don't land in the same process that landed them in court. However, we know that the bottom line really is that those branch nominations that went to court were saying that there were irregularities in the nomination process for the presidency candidate and therefore that's why they went to court. But that would have implications for things like this particular elective conference because if those branch nominations were unconstitutional or there were irregularities and the court had decided that they should be rerun, it would mean that the delegates that would also go to the national conference and this particular elective conference would also be under question. Now, the attorneys in Bloemfontein, according to the stories that we've now heard, say that more branches have now come forward, and that is 32%, about 100 branches, have now come forward to say that they have uh, also experienced irregularities. The significance of that, Francis, is that if you're talking about 32% of 
branches. It means that that falls below or above the threshold that this province needs to go to the national conference, which is 70%. So if 32% of branches have irregularities, it means that only 68% have actually passed. So mm. will this mean that this province can therefore not go to that, or to that national conference come Friday? That's another question that has to be answered. But of course, that all depends on whether the court will indeed see that process as urgent and hear it as urgent in order for it to come to conclusion before Friday. So everything really fluid at this point. But where we are now, we are waiting for those nominations that we expect from the PEC, as they say, to be uncontested, apart from the position of deputy chairperson. Francis. Thank you so much. Uh, live from Paris in the Free State, where the provincial elective conference is underway in Kwatana Ngatane for us uh, from the SABC. Well, with the ANC elective conference around the corner, final preparations are